Hmm, interesting. Modern women of today who are just total trap. I'm 20 years old and still a virgin. I would just love her randomly to fart on my food. Marshall Mathis IV's real name and address is not hard to find online with him himself disclosing this information many times but he now seems to have regretted this so I will honour his wishes and not say this information in this video. But I will disclose that his first name is Isaac because saying Marshall Mathis IV repeatedly is difficult. He was born in February 1997 because as we will see later his age is an important fact and he was born in the good old US of A. Isaac dropped out of school early and doesn't really seem to have many good memories of his school days in high school i used to have friends but they were fake to begin with and i of course talked to them because they were guys but with the girls it was like i couldn't talk to them because if i had a crush on them or if i liked them or if they were really pretty then i just couldn't talk to them. I didn't know how to talk to them. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to act around them. I also dropped out of high school, which I absolutely do not regret. I'm glad as hell that I dropped out of that wretched hell hole. He has a complicated home life in which he shares a house with his mum, dad and seven siblings. His father works as a doctor in a prison and reportedly earns a six-figure salary which is the sole means that is used to support this large family. Isaac complains about his family a lot, with one of his brother's masturbation habits and the family dog eating its own waste being particular topics of annoyance for Isaac. Judging by some of the things we will look at later, you would think that Isaac would enjoy his dog eating his own excrement, but evidently this is not the case. One of Isaac's brothers was institutionalized for a short time due to a bipolar episode and Isaac himself has autism. This causes him to get hyper fixated on seemingly pointless things and speaking honestly about topics that others would probably keep private. <laughs> Those goddamn bitches and hoes picked up the same stupid ass bullshit of smoking, doing drugs, and just to make it worse, sucking dick and having sex under age. As you can probably guess from his channel name, Isaac is a big fan of Eminem and the Marshall Mathers the Fourth YouTube channel was started in February 2014 with the earliest video that still exists being uploaded on the 3rd of May 2017. This is titled I Hate Disney Pixar Cars. As you would imagine, this video is about how much he hates the kids movie Cars. He hates it so much that he felt compelled to video himself talking about it and post his thoughts for the world to see. You would think that with such passionate hate for the movie there would be a good reason. One of the characters is a bit rusty and they did a fart joke. Farts to Isaac are no joking matter and as we will see later he really likes them. The early days of his channel are him lamenting over gaming consoles that he never owned and the things that he hates such as teenage girls, blowjobs, YouTube and microwaves. I f***ing hate Valentine's Day. I hate Halloween. I f***ing hate Thanksgiving. I f***ing hate Christmas. I f hate commercials. I f***ing hate most people. I f***ing hate mid-90s. I hated Disney Pixar cars. I f***ing hate teenage girls and adult women who suck dick. I f***ing hate microwaves. And I would hope if I ever had a girlfriend or for that matter a wife, I would hope to God she too would hate the microwave because it would otherwise be a toxic relationship and that marriage would definitely end very quickly. I f***ing hate PewDiePie. He's nothing but an overrated, overly privileged, spoiled, rotten, stupid mother bitch and an absolute faggot. And his fans are nothing but a bunch of pieces of absolute as time goes by, he begins to talk more about being a black-pilled virgin incel and speculates on the reasons for his lack of success with women. So, what do you think is the reason that Isaac is still a virgin? His negative outlook on life? The fact that he's a grown man still living with his parents? 
No. He has a deformed nose, apparently. I have a deformed nose on my right side. And, you know, the thing is, when I smile, like, the nostril on my left is normal, but it's still, like, big as fuck. And my nostril on my right side, if you can see, kind of goes up. It goes up and kind of, I don't know really how to describe it, but when I smile, it stretches and kind of goes up. And I can even do this, and I'm not putting my finger in my nose. I'm putting it on the out side of it, and it's just like... Like, I just feel ugly. Just absolutely fugly with it. It must be tough to have a brain that obsesses over pointless details, which I would guess is the case with his nose. Some common themes in his videos are a dislike for, well, everything. But as you would expect from an incel, the mating habits of women are a particular focal point for him. He thinks that every man that does not agree with him is a blue-pilled cuck. He is deprived while everyone else is living a privileged life and that people should just leave him alone and never offer him any advice. He has made many many videos and they all ramble on for quite a long time while not really saying much but all of his ramblings are washed down with a sense of unbecoming self-pity and disdain for the world around him on the 4th of september 2019 he uploaded this video hey marshall mathers the fourth here i just want to come to you guys with a video an update video about my channel and the videos that i plan to make in the near future because most of my videos are obviously about complaining and I don't want my entire channel to be just about complaining but the thing is I have complained to my heart's content I have complained about all that I have possibly could complain about to the point where I literally don't have anything else to complain about and the stuff that I complain about is also limited and I have complained about the same shit over and over and over and over and over again so my new content for those of you who are curious or interested in knowing will in fact be about all the movies and perhaps TV shows I wish would have began or released sooner and earlier than they actually were. Say what you want about Isaac, but he is a man of his word and for the next three months the only content that he posted was telling people the reasons he wished movies had been released on different dates. It's a little detail, but I just love it so much for some reason, I don't know why. I mean people say you should find your niche in YouTube. But I think this is not what they mean. He did go back to posting his normal content in the end. But he does still sprinkle in the odd I wish a movie was released on this date as a little treat for his fans. Some other things of note about his videos are the ideas that celebrities are clones and transgender. And the ongoing saga of him getting a job. You see Isaac is quite open and honest with his viewers. And he makes many videos just outright asking them for money. So that he can buy a $10,000 gaming rig. We will look at this in more detail later, but for now this has led to people telling him to get a job so that he can pay for it himself, to which Isaac will give excuses which range from he can't get a job because he has to poo three times in the morning, to jobs are for blue-pilled cucks. After many years of this, he did finally get a job at the fast food chain Popeyes. This lasted for three months. He is currently unemployed. Hey guys, it's Marshall Mathers the fourth here back to you today with another video and today I just wanted to talk about the fetishes that I have that really turn me on and get me off. So we have now reached a point of no return. If you're eating then it is probably a good time to stop and just accept the fact that your appetite will be gone for days after this moment because now we will look at the best weight loss diet known to man. Isaac's sexual fetishes. I want a 14 15 year old African American girl to be my girlfriend really badly 
and what I would truly love and what I also need is one that can burp on command, fart on command, pee for me, poop for me, and purposely get hiccups. Because those are all my fetishes. And same with if I'm eating food, I would just love her randomly to fart on my food, regardless of what I'm eating, or burp on it to add some sexy stink to it and or to even her own food and it would be awesome if I were able to get with a girl who's maybe even slightly turned on by her own bodily functions I mean that would literally be a miracle every morning like just as I'm about to get up she has her bare ass in my face and just starts ripping ass and ripping her morning farts in my face to always be like a great good morning to me and would just make me the happiest man alive literally on the face of this earth i mean when it comes to pooping i would love a girl who like if if there's a plate or a bowl poop on a plate or poop on a bowl i would want to have the pleasure of having wet wipes and being able to wipe her sexy fat ass and what would be the most sexiest thing too is while she has still on her anus fart so not only am i inhaling and intaking the aroma and scent of her delicious poop that smells so good but also a blast of hot fart air of her poop particles and i call that a poop fart because a shart is a fart when you fart and you accidentally shit a little bit but i call a poop fart is a word that i make up is when you have shit still on your anus and you fart after taking like a big old shit and you know when it comes to it you know i'm really turned on by hot sexy attractive good looking girls um shitting, but or scat porn but i'm not into eating poop i mean i do watch a lot of um scat eating videos or even look at even more scat eating photos on google images but i would never want to do that myself because not only would i not want to risk getting really fucking sick but i also and especially would not want to risk dying well um i don't really know what to say to be honest uh the man knows what he wants and i can see why women don't want to have sex with him in fairness, one good thing I will say about Isaac is that at least he keeps these weird sexual fetishes within the incel community and isn't running around the internet harassing women. But I simply just said straight up, can I suck a fart out of your ass or butt or something like that? And Oh Isaac, you silly sausage. Never message a girl with the opening line, can I suck a fart out of your butt? You leave that to at least a third message. <laughs> Let's see what this young lady's response was. She replied very soon with, you know you ugly ass potato headed looking N word. Well, you ugly ass old or something like that potato headed looking N word. And you know, I love potatoes. I love eating potatoes. And I, I do agree 100% that my uh, head and face shape is that like is similar to that of a potato i just love how he matter-of-factly agrees with the fact that his head's like a potato <laughs> he also seems to hate blowjobs a lot for some reason i mean he is a virgin so i would guess that if he ever does feel the pleasures of a mouth pleasures of a mouth pleasures of a mouth glorifying blowjobs and mouth. glorifying the fuck out of sucking dick pleasures of a mouth or pleasures of or a, a mouth. hoe pleasures of a mouth or Pleasures of a mouth. Pleasures of a mouth. Poor. Pleasures of a mouth. Pleasures of a mouth. Poor. Pleasures of a mouth. Suck dick. If he ever gets a blowjob, I guess he would think differently, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, he has also been dabbling in the world of furries, but I'm not convinced he has fully taken up the lifestyle, as I've never seen him in a costume. But he does talk about how female animal characters in movies are better than modern women. I am a furry. And no, I'm not making or doing this video to troll any of you or to get attention or even for shock value for that matter. I mean it when I say 
that I am a furry. I'm dead serious. I'm not even kidding. And I have the company of Disney to thank for turning me into or making me a furry since I was even a little kid. And you know what? I'm not mad one bit at Disney for making or turning me into a furry, in other words, because, you know, in my defense and in my opinion, I think being a furry is way better than being into women, especially modern women of today who are just total trash and absolute scum of the earth. He also has a crush on a lady named Kanika Jenkins, which is probably the most normal sexual fantasy that he has. Just kidding. Kanika Jenkins died in 2017 when she left the party and presumably fell asleep in a walk-in freezer at a hotel. So yeah, there's that as well. Isaac has surprisingly high standards when it comes to women. The kind of girl I would want would either be a black girl or a Latina girl who has never sucked never taken up the butt, never smoked or done drugs, never had sex underage or before marriage, and a girl who hopefully has the same astrological sign as myself, which is Aquarius. I mean, that would just be awesome as hell if I could find my dream girl or the girl I want in other words that has the exact same astrological sign. So just to recap he wants an attractive black or Latino woman who has never performed oral sex or sex at all before marriage, has the same star sign as him, doesn't own a microwave, enjoys farting on her own food and sh farting in his face. I wonder why he's single. <coughs> Unlike a lot of the oddballs on the internet, Isaac actually seems to have a lot of genuine fans, which is nice to see, I guess. At the time of recording, he has 14,900 subscribers, and a quick look at the comments of his video shows a very supportive fan base that are going through similar tribulations in life, which is pretty sad, I guess. His channel did get a very large spike in viewership at the end of 2022, which has led to some people accusing him of buying views and subscribers, but Isaac denies this. A channel named The Grease Wizard did make a video about him around this time, so I would guess that this at least has something to do with his rise in popularity. As I alluded to earlier, Isaac is very direct with his fans and asks them for money continuously so that he can buy a $10,000 gaming rig that he has had his heart set on for many years now. He still doesn't own one. Most of his income comes from fan donations. Hey, Marshall Mathers IV here. I just want to ask you guys if maybe, hopefully, or possibly, as many of you as possible could donate money to me more frequently and more often because I'll just be straight up honest with you I am trying to buy an Xbox One X and why because I have nothing to watch my 4k blu-ray movies or regular blu-ray movies on and I bought that and a 43 inch 4k ultra HD RCA TV that a Zio Million gave me $300 a couple to a few months ago to buy. Any of you who can and are able to please send money to my PayPal account. None of you care about my suffering. Not a single one of you actually care. Because if any of you did, you would help me buy stuff that I've been extremely deprived of. I never had a $10,000 gaming PC, or in other words, gaming desktop. That is the most in main electronic that I truly want, desire, crave, and so dearly and greatly wished, I mean wish I had, and of course have, since I was 16 years old. He does have other social media accounts with Instagram and TikTok being his favourites. He did seem to have some kind of problem with his Instagram account but this seems to have been sorted now you'd be relieved to hear. Of course a man like Isaac is always going to attract trolls on the internet. But to be honest compared to some of the other people I've done videos on like Dragon Lord and Cyrax his trolls are pretty good natured with a man called Mortal Kombat being the main one. 
The trolling mainly consists of people doing impressions of him or people putting Isaac speak into Eminem instrumentals. Isaac really seems to dislike his trolls, which is fair enough I guess, and has now changed the name of his YouTube channel in a bid to escape them. There was one incident that I've been unable to piece together fully, but it seems that the trolls pretended to be Isaac and called the FBI, who then searched his dad's computer. If anyone knows more details about this, please comment below. <laughs> Isaac is an odd chap with some pretty wacky ideas, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I'm sure that some people will hear the word incel, see his deadpan expression, shaved head and think that he's one bad day away from a shooting spree, but I don't think this is the case. For sure, resentment and sexual frustration are a dangerous mix, but to me he seems like someone who uses despair as a comfort blanket, happy to snuggle up in the bosom of self-pity and suckle the sour milk of victimhood. Isaac has stated many times that he doesn't want advice from people, so in the unlikely event that he does watch this video, I'll do him the courtesy of not offering him any advice. I will, however, say my honest observations. Firstly, Isaac, you're not unattractive. I'm not gay, but I'd fuck ya. I'd gently spread your cheeks apart and lovingly insert my... <laughs> I should probably stop on the YouTube police and be on my case. But yeah, you're a good looking guy who just whinges and whines too much. Forget women. Why do you think that anyone would want to be around someone that just moans all day? All you're ever going to attract into your life is other people that whinge and whine. And if you're happy with that, then good luck to you, mate. I do have sympathy for incels. It seems to me that the Western world is currently rewarding victimhood and entitlement. Incels see this and want a piece of that sweet victimhood pie, but they don't realise that they're playing what is already a stupid game very poorly because nobody cares about loser men. It's not fair, but the world isn't fair, so stop being a loser man is pretty much all we can do, which is easier said than done. Now, the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed in a previous clip that Isaac said that he wanted a 14-year-old girlfriend. He said this when he was 20 years old. This is something that has followed him around since the day that he said it and he has expressed regret for saying this. So yeah, that's not great. Like all of us, Isaac has good things and bad things about him. He's honest and open, which I have great respect for, although being honest about wanting a 14-year-old girlfriend may not be the best idea. All in all, I think that Isaac and the world as a whole would be better off if he finds himself a good woman who will fart in his mouth so that he shuts the fuck up. Watch this video about Severage, the king of the carnivores, and bye bye No woman will ever want me.